Healing your bowel and body with this unique healing program eliminates bacterial infections in a way that crutches, whether it's diet, exercise, supplements, massage, acupuncture, chiropractic, etc. cannot do. It is the job of your good bacteria, which you are healing in this program, to fight off the bad bacteria that it comes in contact with. You are aggressively healing your bowel bacteria in this program. In fact, it is hands down way more aggressive than any other program that I have ever seen written or spoken about. Now, some people like to claim and will claim and have claimed that they've got a way to do this for you quickly in weeks or months time, um, but I've never seen that happen. It can't happen. Make sure that you don't fall for something that isn't correct or true to make sure that you're on a program that's truly healing your bowel. Check out chapter two and chapter seven of my book, Unique Healing, because it defines what a truly healed bowel is. Again, it is the job of your gut bacteria to fight off the bad bacterium. In fact, your healthy body or your body has nothing to do with it. So even if you do this program, for example, and heal your body, and all your organs are incredibly healthy and strong, that does not make you immune to these bad bacterial infections. It takes a healthy bowel to do that. And in fact, crutches that you might use to improve symptoms of an unhealthy body, like more rest, less stress, changing your diet, those will do nothing and do nothing to get rid of bacterial infections. So if you've got a bacterial infection, use something that gets rid of it. And the product I find that works great is the colloidal silver, the unique healing colloidal silver. It will get rid of that infection if you use it correctly. And that is true of all crutches. They don't work unless used correctly. To be sure that you use them correctly, you refer to my books, Unique Healing and Unique Healing Too. If you're sure you've got one and you're using the silver and you're not getting rid of it, and you should be able to get rid of it in 24 to 48 hours, then consider contacting me for an appointment so I can help you figure out why it's not going away. You can find information for that on my website at www.uniquehealing.com. There are many misunderstandings about these infections. One of them, by the way, is that symptoms of bacterial infections aren't just those obvious, ooh, I have sinus pain or bladder pain or diarrhea. There are numerous symptoms caused by bacterial infections, like fatigue, gas and bloating, headaches, nausea, um, neurological problems, foggy headiness, irritability, insomnia. Numerous symptoms can occur when there's a bacterial infection in your body. One way of determining if you have one is by looking at your bowels, in fact. <clears throat> You're well trained in my books and you all should be doing this to see what your bowels are doing and depending on what they're doing, respond or react to that and get them back to a healthier state because in a healthier state, numerous symptoms are gone and that includes these infections. So if your bowels are more than twice a day, green, yellow, or super loose, most likely you have a bacterial infection and you've got symptoms as a result of that. So I would advise you in that situation, even if your bowels are, bowels are three times a day and perfectly formed, or if you go three times a day and two of those times only teeny little pieces come out, you likely have a bacterial infection and you probably have some uncomfortable symptoms that you don't need to suffer with as a result. Back to other misunderstandings, things like probiotics and bowel strength, which work just like probiotics, are not crutches. So if you have an infection, Contrary to much of the advice I see written out there, you cannot just take a bunch of probiotics and get rid of it. That's not how it works. It won't work. Probiotics and bowel strength heal your gut. After you've done those for maybe two, three, four years and your gut is super healthy, then and only then, yes, will you be able to naturally, automatically on your own get rid of these. But if your gut's not healthy and you get one, those products aren't going to do a thing to eliminate them. You need to use something that immediately destroys them, like silver. Um, if you're doing this program, do expect to get some infections along the way. There are tons of bacterium out there, tons of germs, all over the place. Expect to get them. Don't be surprised if you do. You can't go live in a bubble and make yourself immune to all those germs. It's not possible. Do know, though, that colloidal silver is a crutch. And like all crutches, it does not have a permanent long-term cumulative effect. So if you take it and get rid of an infection, that's all you've done. You have not made yourself less immune to more infections, in other words. You're not more vulnerable to them because of the silver. The silver has nothing to do with it. It's your healthy or unhealthy gut that's making you vulnerable to the infections in the first place. So if you take the silver, get rid of an infection, and two weeks later have another one, 
while you were just exposed to more bad bacterium at that time, your gut's not healthy enough to fight it off, so you should probably use the silver again, but expect that to be how things work. Um, antibiotics, Nystatin, there's all kinds of products that are used to get rid of infections, which are very toxic and have toxic side effects. Some of that is attributed to some concept that someone made up called die-off. Look for my video on die-off. You really should watch that if you have any inkling that you are experiencing those symptoms or any concerns about those. But in the meantime, do know that colloidal silver is not toxic. So there's no side effects or harm or bad symptoms that you'll get from using that like you often do when you take things like antibiotics or Nystatin or other products like that. Um, Family, pets, food are some of the more common um, sources of infections. So if you're getting them, especially if you're getting them frequently, make sure that there's no one else in your family, a spouse or a child, who has them as well. If your child is um, constantly infected and you treat yours, well, you're just going to get reinfected right away and you're going to constantly have to treat that. So same thing with pets. Dogs, cats commonly carry bad bacterium. So they also should be given colloidal silver per the instructions in my books if you're getting infections frequently. Check out your food, make sure it's not old. Sometimes we just need to cook our food longer, be careful of undercooked meats or raw vegetables. Those are the higher, um, highest levels of bacterium-causing types of foods. The bottom line is you will one day be free of your vulnerability or be free of getting these infections. I personally haven't had a bacterial infection I think in like 25 years. I was lucky enough, I guess, at the time I didn't think so, but I was lucky enough to get sick when I was in my early 20s before I had kids. So my kids inherited a really healthy gut from me and they're 14 and 17 and they've never had a bacterial infection in their entire life. So you can get to that place as well. You will have a lot less symptoms when you get there and you will get there with this program. So for more information on this program, more help, more support, more videos, check out my website, www.uniquehealing.com, and I hope that helps.